there, Capricorn. How are you? It's your first fair here. Nice to see you again. What's the cast of Capricorns up to? Let's take a look. Oh, so soft, Capricorn. I love these cards. All right, Capricorn. I could shuffle your cards all day. I really could. But let's get to it. Well, Empress mode, look at you. Look at you. Look how beautiful this Empress is. She knows her worth. Not only does she know her worth, she's sitting back on her throne. Letting everything that she has worked for come to her, which is beautiful. The energy that crosses, this is, yep, divine timing. You know it, you you know your value and you're waiting for all that work to, for, to come to fruition. This is a divine timing card. You're high yourself. Don't worry, Capricorn. Don't worry. You're, you're high yourself is saying Capricorn's worried about that which they will receive. It's almost, and with this doubt, with this worry, with this nine of swords, it's not going to happen. It's kind of like Capricorn, you have to believe to receive. You can sit there pretending, looking the part, you've got, you've got all this look, this empress look going on, but if you really don't feel that the work that you have put into whatever it is, is worth, and you're worried about, or you're worried about what others will think. Are you worried about your numbers? Are you worried about your investments? You're worried about, uh, you do have so many worries. Your focus and foundation. Patience, Capricorn. Define timing. That's all I have to say. Define timing. In the past. There's the work that you've been putting into everything, looking directly at how much you have put into, into your job, into your family, into your kids, into your home, into your business, into your craft, into your whatever it is that you're creating. Because this is the ultimate creation card, the Empress. And all the work up until this point, you will receive. But you gotta get out of this energy, this Nine of Swords. Look at, you're still working. <laughs> Capricorn, you're still working. You're still putting in the work, making it look good while you're doing it. Look at you, how you see yourself. It's, you have chosen a different path. This is, and maybe what you're worried about, that this has always worked for me. And do you see how it's sort of bolted, like you're leaving it behind and you have taken this new staff? Both have growth. Both are viable. And yet, you've turned your back on what you, has always worked for you for maybe that's something brand new. And this is what you're worried about, right, for some of you. How other people see you, yeah, they see you leaving the old and doing something completely new. The death card is no joke. The death card is a, a transition. It is shedding of old. It is old Capricorn, maybe even old values, old belief systems, old and rebirthing something completely new. That's no joke. Hope and fear. This is a hope that what you're manifesting, but if Capricorn, I have to, if you worry, you will manifest what you're worried about. Look at you, Capricorn. Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles for me is the minor to the major of the Empress. We start off with the Empress. And so this is your higher, this is like the archetype, right? The Empress archetype, the divine feminine, divine mother, the creator. And then this is the everyday, the queen that goes to work, the queen that takes care, the queen that, you know, cooks the meals and, and cleans the house and takes care of the kids and does the laundry. This is the queen that does the everyday things. This is the, the minor is the everyday. And the major is the, the archetypes, right? So it's, 
We start off and end off with Capricorn all day long. This is a Capricorn read. Look at you, Capricorn. That which you might not see is karmic and cosmic justice. That which you've put in Capricorn, you will receive. But I'm really curious about this Nine of Swords. What are you worried about, Capricorn? Let's go deeper. This is a fantastic spread here, Capricorn. Look at this. Wow, Capricorn. Wow, okay. Like, we've got, let's just count. One, two, three, four, five majors. All right, Capricorn, let's take a look. Clarify the Empress for my cast of Capricorns. What are they creating? What are they birthing? Is it who they truly are with the death card here? As other people see them, they're birthing who they truly are, who Capricorn truly is, the King of Cups. The King of Cups is clarifying the Emperor. I said Emperor. Hmm. Wouldn't surprise me if he comes through the clarifiers. The King of Cups. This is maturity. This is Scorpio energy. So where for you, for, for any of you, where is Scorpio in your chart? This King of Cups is really, and it's the balance king for me, it's really balancing out your head and your heart. It's really balancing out the ability to, I'm going to say, because it's Scorpio energy, to transmute negative energies, which is what your higher self is experiencing into positive energies. Yes, and looking into the future with the three of wands. You are looking into the future with maturity, with love, with devotion, with loyalty to you. Capricorn to what it is that you're creating to what it is that you're birthing and putting the work into it now what are you worried about Capricorn you're worried about your creativity with the Knight of Cups and I'm almost hearing it's not good enough it could, there's always room for improvement Capricorn needs to work harder oh Capricorn but having the strength having the strength to really take a look at sort of like get out it's almost like, oh, what book is it? The Untethered Soul. It's, I'm going to put that book in the description box below. That book really is a beautifully written um, piece that ha allow, or shows you, allows you, teaches you to take a third party perspective, to take yourself out of your mind and listen to what you tell yourself, which is the nine of swords. This, these worries. What are you worried about, Capricorn? What is it that you, you know, keeps you up at night? Are you worried about your kids, about your spouse, about your parents, about your employees, about your coworkers, about your bosses? What, what is it, right? Are, and that's just in your personal. Are you then worried about worldly, political, economical worries? Really, the strength card is having the strength to see through the veil, which Capricorn, I know you can. Having the strength of character to believe in your Knight of Cups, which is your creativity, which is the Empress right here. What is that you're creating? And having the strength to believe in divine timing, temperance, emotionally walking away from all expectations. And I'm going to put this right underneath this King of Cups because the King of Cups is mature enough not to get into the petty, into the sort of emotional um, tit for tat kind of energy, right? If there's stuff going on at work, if there's stuff going on between, you know, friendship groups or family that you're just not interested in because you're waiting for divine timing and not waiting in a when is it going to come sort of way because that's a worry but just having belief having this this real grounded sense of knowing yes six of 
six of pentacles of looking into the future and also for a lot of you being patient with yourself that what you put in and we've got the six seven and eight of pentacles what you put in you will receive and it's learning how to receive and be patient with what is coming your way knight of pentacles is clarified by this is envy for a lot of you the five the battles the the and, and defending against it, yeah. Defending uh, and believing in that which you're working on and not really paying much attention to these squabbles, to this envy, to this, um, why does Capricorn have this? Why does Capricorn do that? Why does Capricorn go on vacation? Why does Capricorn have a nice car, a nice home? And how come? Because she works hard. Capricorn works hard. Eight of, so this is really just slow and steady energy of the Knight of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands is about believing, defending that which you're creating, defending for some of you, your um, so your emotional maturity can be perceived as cold. I'm not going to lie to you, Capricorn, I, you have your reputation for being very cold and calculated, but this is for me, emotional maturity that you are not going to get pulled into these lower squabbling vibrations is just not a thing for you. So this is standing up for what you believe, but also standing up against those that pretended the six, you know, oh, great job, Capricorn, we're so happy for you. And then the next card is the seven of wands, which is when you're now defending against those six wands that in the previous card were giving you the accolades. So, and, and the card before that is the five, where there's a lot of battle, there's a lot of envy, there's a lot of jealousy is what I'm feeling at the work that Capricorn has put into something and now she's sitting on her throne. Both thrones of the major and minor, right? Eight of Pentacles, the lovers. You are have made a choice. For some of you, it could be work. For others of you, it could be a Scorpio. For others of you still, um, I got Scorpio twice. It could be um, a Taurus, a Libra. Again, those are just zodiac signs that it could be. I got Virgo on the table. I got another Capricorn on the table. But I'm really feeling that you have chosen to put yourself first because the lover's card for me is the choice card and it is choosing. Who do you choose? I believe you have chosen yourself and your craft and what it is that you're working on and your independence right there, the nine of pentacles. Yes, beautiful, all right. That very clear. How you see yourself is choosing a new path with the two of wands, making plans, looking out into the future as the three of wands does. Oh my goodness gracious me and being patient. Being patient, Capricorn, with the temperance card. And I knew he was coming. I I knew the emperor was going to show up when I called the empress the emperor. So I wouldn't be surprised. And here he is. And that's how you see yourself as the boss. As you see yourself as being patient for that which you have worked hard on to come to fruition. With the seven of pentacles, that's exactly a waiting card. That's a divine timing waiting card. I've got three of them on the table now. Capricorn. And for some of you, it could be being patient with this death and rebirth process. Yeah, you are completely detaching from, as the Eight of Cups talks about, and that's clarifying the Temperance, and this is right above the Temperance card, and the King of Swords really does detach and take logical steps as to how I am going to shed that which is no longer serving me, shed which I have outgrown shed old belief systems and these are the reasons why the logic the fairness the knowledge and it's deep knowledge there's wisdom there's wisdom in here and the ten of pentacles and moving towards your and this is how other people see you other people see you and for some of you i'm gonna say they didn't think that you could do whatever it is that you are doing they didn't think that you could do it capricorn and here you are. They see you with your Ten of Pentacles. They see you transmuting negative into positive. They see you making wise decisions with your investments. They see you making business moves. They see you manifesting. The magician. You're learning. And yet, 
this is this is the great thing about Capricorn. Everyone, like all everyone else, sees this is the the the, the mind, the, the the power, the king of the mind, which is the king of swords. This is powerful logic and 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 fairness and wisdom regarding the death process, which is no joke, into the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, and Capricorn sees. Well, I'm just learning. <laughs> I'm just learning how to make the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, your walls are up. Your walls are up because you're doing it. You're doing this process behind closed. You have been through it, Capricorn. Death process is no joke. You have been through it. And so you're learning that you are, in fact, a master manifester. So are you going to manifest worries? Are you going to manifest? No, you're going to manifest wealth. And what that means to you in your independence right here, even if you are in a loving relationship with this lover's card here, for some of you, you're in a loving relationship with a king of cups or a king of swords. Yes, absolutely. But here's the thing. You are still independent with this nine of pentacles in that relationship. Yeah, you're curious. Curious about the work that you have put in and not really making any moves just yet. You're resting your mind from these worries, which is what you know you have to do to keep your strength up. You are resting after going through this death process. For some of you, it could be a death of someone that you loved. A real death. So, but it's the, uh, I'm looking at other people see you is really transforming really transforming and seeing your value and really building your wealth. We have the emperor and the empress. This is divine masculinity and femininity. This is bossing up with, with in emperor mode. This is Aries energy. Um, I have Gemini on the table. I have Taurus and Libra on the table. Of course, I have Capricorn on the table. And this Empress card is you relearning how to receive, not doing everything. Even though you see yourself as the Emperor, first card out is the Emperor. So that's balance. I see balance with the Lover's card. I see balance with the Justice card. I see you transforming and leaving that which does not align with you anymore to your Ten of Pentacles. Beautiful. Your higher self is really warning of you, to, of being overcritical of what it is that you're creating, of your creativity and having the strength to see, to take a look at how you talk to yourself, at what you think about, because what you think about, you bring about. Now, the bottom of the deck. Yes, just know that cosmic justice is coming your way with the seven of pentacles, which is the crossing energy and clarifying the justice. You have to be patient, Capricorn. That's what I see. Let's get some angel numbers on this. I see 757. 757 seven for my cast of Capricorns. It's beautiful. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited for you, Capricorn. Your consciousness is expanding as a result of your dedication to live your best life. Empress, right there. Your soul is expanding too. And you are now beginning to understand your connection to all things and the lessons that your life is presenting you with at this time. Oh, Capricorn. I'm loving it. I see 949. Let's do 949, Capricorn. 949. The Holy Spirit is filling up the cup of your heart until it's overflowing. Know that you are deserving of miracles. Capricorn. I see 369. Nine, that's a special number. Tesla thought so. Three, six, nine. You may feel sensitive at this time, but it's important to listen in. As the emotions rising up in your, up in you are messages about what's most important for you on your journey, which is the two of wands going forward. Beautiful. I see Oh, I see progression. Three, four, five. Then I see five, six, seven. And then I see seven, eight, nine. All right, let's do some progressions. I see three, four, five. Three, four, five. 
Archangel Michael and his angels of protection are putting a ring of light and safety around you. Look at the light on the Empress in this image. I really do see that there is a light, and it's an Archangel Michael light of protection around you. I see four, five, six. Let's do four, five, six. Angels are encouraging you to align with the energy of care and compassion. Ignore any thoughts of attack. You don't have to worry about thoughts of attack, even from within, because you have Archangel and all of his, Archangel Michael and all of his angels putting a ring of protection, of light, of protection around you. That's what you've got, Capricorn. So these angels are saying, are encouraging you to align with the energy of care and compassion. Ignore any thoughts. Ignore it. Ignore any of those five of wands. Ignore it. I love that. <laughs> five, six, seven. Let's do this. Five, six, seven. Five, six, seven. Any concerns you have are now being ironed out and you are being encouraged to move forward rather than hold back. Miracles are being created for you today and any numbers that you see on my table, Capricorn, those are personal messages for you. Get your book and take a look. If you do not have an angel numbers book, go to the description box below, click on link and grab yourself a book for all future reads. I see six, seven, eight. There are opportunities on the horizon for you to grow both in yourself and in your career. Step into focus mode and prepare for an exciting road ahead. You are moving up a rung on the ladder to success. Last one, Capricorn. Seven, eight, nine. Major spiritual changes are unfolding around you. This is a time for you to fully overcome your greatest fear, which is the Nine of Swords right up there, your greatest fear, and face darkness eye to eye. You have the chance to soar, but it's dependent on your willingness to overcome your darkest shadow. And that's what I see for you, Capricorn, and I'm sure I'll see you again. Take care from your Force Fairy. Bye for now.